Kanyamel Golf Club lies in a very hilly area, in the very east of the island, close to Cap de Pera. The terrain offers a stunning panorama view, and in addition provides an extraordinary vista with its diverse vegetation, consisting mainly of indigenous trees and plants. The architect José Gancero carefully laid out the paths in the terrain in 1988, leaving the land untouched as far as possible so that the game could harmoniously integrate with Mallorca's environment. This concept is tangible at each corner of the par 73 course. It seems as though one has always played golf here. Furthermore, Gantero has integrated all original elements of the area in the design. In this way, on the 9th, you are suddenly confronted with an old house, or you will find many of the typical old stone walls crisscrossing the fairway. The old stock of trees is truly wonderful. The variety ranges from oil trees, almond trees, right through to a perfect arbutus. The nature lover will find everything his heart desires on the 15th hole. You begin the game of games from the elevated tee. Try to get used to the small trees in the middle of the fairway as quickly as possible. Although they visually narrow your path, they do not really get in the way. The second hole brings you in contact for the first time with the partially very difficult greens. This particular green is not only glued to the slope, but like many others, is very strongly undulated. Read the green carefully. Simply hitting the ball does not work here at all. Without always having a clear view, you fight your way forward to the fourth hole over two hillocks. They appear to reach the sky. Your reward and surprise is the sea lying far beneath your feet. This moment alone justifies the green fees. The par three that follows is quite short, but requires absolute accuracy. The green is not excessively large and drops off extremely on all sides. You need to hit the ball on the off chance on the sixth. There is hardly a clue as to how the terrain looks behind the trees. We will only give away the following. If your level of confidence and the direction are good, then all will be well. When you stand on the eighth hole, a little restraint will pay dividends. If the flag is close to the water behind the green, then your attack tempts fate. You can test your partner's golfing knowledge on the ninth. What is the rule if your ball lands on the roof of the old building? The second nine holes take you far away from the clubhouse. The usually flat but longer paths should not be underestimated. Although you have been playing for quite a while, each swing must be well positioned. Luckily, the greens are designed quite simply. Just like on the 10th hole, this relaxing green is as flat as a flounder. Now pass hole 19. Don't worry, you are not imagining things. As building often takes place on the Kanyamel golf course, this 19th hole is used as a reserve. The 13th pushes the water in your way quite nastily. However, you must carefully plan and measure out the second fairway drive. The strategists among you can say goodbye right here. As soon as you have reached the 14th hole, there is still another very difficult green to crack. Your putter's home waits three large terraces below you. Good luck on this one. This putt can only be won with true skill. Kanyamel Golf lies unpretentiously in the landscape. The course harmonizes perfectly with the environment. And it is exactly this fact that makes the visitor feel good.